Welcome to Local Live, where every Sunday at 10 p.m., we invite local Texas artists to play live in our studios at KVRX Austin on 91.7 FM TSTV on Dorm Channel 19, streaming at www.kvrx.org. I'm Joelle, and I'm here in the fourth floor studio with local Austin band Growl. And we also have a live studio audience. Can you guys say hey? Just like. <laughs> You guys got a pretty big crowd going on here. Yeah, for sure. uh, so with the band, we have Kent Hale on drums. Hi, Kent. We have uh, Santiago, who plays guitar and vocals. Hello. We got Johnny, who plays bass and Austin's vocals. That's me. And uh, Sam, who plays guitar. And according to the description, you ramble as well. <laughs> according to your Facebook page, you don't stop talking. You said that. <laughs> Are you not aware of that? We made that today. Are you th okay, yeah, that's me. Oh, we also Wait, have some. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, we have some KVRX alums here in the house, uh, and current DJs like Sam is a KVRX DJ, and Santiago, you said you were a DJ. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about what it means to you playing the famous local live as a former and current DJ? Oh, it's super awesome. I um, I was music director here for like a year and a half, maybe two years, uh, like a year ago, and then I did giveaways and had a like a soul and R&B music show for a while. And I think Local Live is like the coolest, I don't know, I think I especially being a college radio, we should do things like this like more often than once a week, but it's a really great chance to catch like one or two of the thousands of awesome bands in Austin. So I think it's, it's great. Yeah. And John's laughing, so he has something to say. He's not an alum. <laughs> what, thousands of Austin bands outside of Austin? <laughs> <laughs> Did I say outside of Austin? That's it. Said thousands of awesome bands in Austin. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Santi, go ahead. Do you want to weigh in on this? No, it's pretty much that. Pretty much covers it for sure. As like a, you guys have only been around for like a couple of years, right? It must feel cool as a yeah. newer band. Yeah. Maybe. Young. About a year and a half since we first uh, started the whole thing, and so it's been, it's been a whirlwind of shows, but we're really happy to play so much. Has it been a whirlwind intentionally? Like, have you booked a lot of shows, or have things just sort of come together for you? A little bit of both. I mean, it started off booking as many as we could, but then now we don't really book anything. <laughs> we just say yes to whatever works with our schedule, I guess. Yeah, listening to your um, your new CP is called uh, I gotta look, Gallery. gallery. Yeah, yeah. yeah gallery. I just listening to what I was thinking. Like, this is like I could hear this around. I mean, not to, not if that offends you guys. Not if you don't want your music to be. Not if, if you want to be like super indie or something. But like, no, I, mean I felt <laughs> like I could. You know, we're I could not indie. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 I think your KVRX material for now, but like I was thinking, like if I was just walking in and like buying a bagel or something, like and I heard your album, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be all right with bagels it. Bagels totally go well together. I can <laughs> see that. <laughs> where would you buy your bagel? Where yeah, Where would you buy your bagel from? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm from New York, so I'm oh. maybe a bagel. Oh. So from New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I could like have them shipped in. I just buy in my New bagel York. from New York. <laughs> in general. Just walk on over. Yeah, but I mean, I just wonder. I guess that gave me wondering, like, what would be the dream? For Growl, like, is this the dream? Just play in Austin? I guess the like dream, KBRX for or the dream for Growl told totally you to get off the blacklist or to get on the blacklist for <laughs> for KBRX. I think we all have different answers to that question. Yeah, Sometimes well, let's pass it around. Uh, I think as far as what we're trying to do is um, right now, play as many shows as possible. Hopefully, tour around a little bit. I think we all like to travel a lot. And besides that, just record more is the general idea. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger than you two. <laughs> <laughs> well said, John. Me. Um, now, I think, for me personally, I would love to make a small living off of touring, and ultimately have one roadie. I think. Just one. Yeah. You wouldn't want to have like. If it you would be bigger, great to not like load ten. our gear. What measures success is one roadie. Yeah, that's it. Like, there's zero roadies and one roadie <laughs> on the spectrum. What if you had like ten? I'd we don't know what to do with it. <laughs> there's, only, there's only four of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, but I've heard that you guys play in other bands, too. Or, um, you know, would you want Growl to be, like, a main thing? Or do you like to sort of be in a part of different bands in the scene? Mm. Like, being around Austin? It's a conflict of interest question. <laughs> 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 I'm Just having basically a tell blast me which, which playing in Growl, play but I also <laughs> play drums in a band called Little Low around town as well. And um, John has his own solo project that he could tell you about? Oh yeah, it's mainly consistent of distorted bass and Kent's drumming. 
So it's not exactly a solo <laughs> project, but we're pretty awesome. But we take no influence from Death From Above, who also do that. Okay. Um, and I can't sing very well, but I sing a lot for that band. <laughs> and it sounds amazing. Like, you'd be really surprised. Again? Uh, we're still working on that one. But <laughs> we mostly sound like Grizzly Bear with a mix of Mozart, kind of in a <laughs> postmodern, intellectual, meta way, if that makes sense. Yeah. So if you could maybe describe Growl in, in sort of those terms, what would you Oh, uh, whimsical. <laughs> Whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> Growl really is whimsical. <laughs> oh, Growl well. Actually <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, for as far as, wait, you're moving on to the... To the no, to I the mean, yeah, what would you describe? Like, w is whimsical the word you would no, use? No, I mean, <laughs> we, we always call ourselves, like, garage pop. It's super poppy, all of our music. Um, it's all, like, 145, if you're getting technical, technical about it, as far as composition goes. Um... But yeah, and it's it's not of the best fidelity, so that's where the garage comes from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say that you guys do the one four five way in in a very accessible means, you Thank know, you. in in a way that like doesn't make it sound boring. It, it yeah. feels <laughs> like I could be listening to it. Oh, that's my so I got a text message, but <laughs> no, I think that's the ultimate goal is to play music that like is creative and like definitely ours, but something that like people who aren't necessarily into our style of music could listen to and still enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, so like accessibility, I think, is important, and that's like where the pop side comes into it. I think because um, these guys were in a band before called Woe Palomino, which I'm sure they would love to tell you about. But um, I remember when Kent was talking about this band that he and Santi were going to start up that w I wasn't originally included in. I just was like, oh, well, I should be a part of that. <laughs> but like uh, and Kent was. No, of yeah, <laughs> yeah right. I got turned down. But um, anyway, so like one of the things he said was that he wanted to make music that was like a lot more like danceable than like what Woe Palomino oh, was doing. Because their other band consisted mainly, I feel like of so like Sandy, it was like a lot of your stuff and then like a couple of band tracks. I mean, it was good, but I don't know. <laughs> 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 it was good, but <laughs> anyway, so just basically like Growl was just meant to be like a little bit more danceable and like fun to like put on than just like something you have to sit down and like, all right, everyone be quiet so we can like play our song, you know? Like people, like we hush the crowd merely because we're so loud, so. Mm -hmm. I guess uh since you're gonna play a set for us in a couple of minutes of some of your music, and I was as I was listening to your EP, I was thinking like, no, like I wonder if there are any stories behind some of these songs. Like I, I wrote down the lyrics of one. Uh, what was it? Girlfriend is the song, <laughs> and the, I think the only lyrics, if I understood correctly, was your boyfriend is dead now, and I could never be happier. I don't think so we're legally, we can't <laughs> legally uh, talk, talk about yeah. what that song's about for sure. But um, <laughs> no was there another song maybe that there's a story <laughs> that you're gonna play? Uh, <laughs> you, should talk a, you should talk about RGK. RGK is the song <laughs> that we're going to play in the middle of it. And it's about uh, actually a local group of uh, graffiti artists who we hate. Um, <laughs> that's called RGK. Tell us more about them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sam wrote the song, so we can talk about it. Yeah. But uh, there's a really beautiful mural on Guadalupe and 24th Street that someone took a lot of time to paint. And if you look right in the middle of it, somebody spray painted in silver RGK, like right over this piece of art. Um, and that's the sort of crew that we're talking about. And they've come to some of our parties and our shows. And uh, they stole my iPhone at one point. Oh, man. And they've done some variety of drugs at my house. And uh, they paint on trash cans because they think it's really cool. Um, and windows and steal things and break things. So we wrote a song about them. And I think we had a chance to play it at a show that they were at. Uh, which was kind of awkward, but I don't know. It was kind of cool. It was <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, if John said he, we would love to hear their feedback All right. about it. Um, but yeah, I think that's the song's called Rats Get Killed that we'll play a little bit later. So, And look for the tag around town because mm -hmm. um, it's on everything. If someone wanted to hear this song, if they're listening on the radio or like watching on TV right now and they wanted to hear this song or some more of your music later on, where would they go and find it? Uh, it's all on growl.bandcamp.com, or at least our first EP, and we should be heading into the studio, like, right at the end of the semester, I guess around, what would that be, May, like, early to mid-May, mm -hmm. and we'll be hopefully putting out a new EP, maybe a full length, but recording some new songs mm -hmm. to put out. Or you could watch the movie Grow Up, Tony Phillips, that... Um, we got to, they used our music, but Santi, I'll let Santi talk about that real quick, and then we'll be done. 
Yeah, we wrote a soundtrack for uh, a movie that just premiered at South by um, called Grow Up Tony Phillips and sort of a coming age coming of age story um, that takes place in, in a Halloween setting. And um, that's looking at distribution right now and probably set to release this upcoming Halloween. Oh, well, how'd you get into that? Um, I w- I've known the director throughout my whole life and um, she and I had been working together in the past. I used to try to act and it was in one of her last films. And this time she made sure I wasn't in front of the camera but still had some um, way of getting into the movie. You were in the movie, dude. I was in the movie. I played popular kid number one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that who you are in real life? I, would you call yourself popular kid number one? <laughs> no, nah, I'd call myself like popular kid number 14. Okay. Around there. <laughs> well, uh, if I you're tuning... <laughs> <for you>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm no Johnny Football. If you're tuning in on the radio at KBRX, uh, we've been talking to Growl, the local Austin band, actually featuring some KBRX DJs, and uh, they're about to play a live set for us. Uh, You're listening to Local Live, which is our weekly program that features local music from the Austin, Texas, or just general Texas area, and we're here every Sunday at 10 p.m., and uh, in just a minute, we'll hear a live set from them, and thank you guys so much for coming in and talking to me, and thanks so much for having us. I'm looking forward to hearing your music. Thank you. Growl. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha. 